So with game animation sample now updated to 5.5, adding your own character is slightly changed, but it's still super easy. So I'm going to show you how to do that now in this video. So what we're going to do is just go to the blueprints on Sandbox character, just right click and retarget animation and then choose your character. So I've got the cyberpunk guy. So all we need to do now is just pick ABP generic retarget and export retarget assets. I'll put this in a new folder here. And then rename this. So I'm just going to name this metal and select all of it and copy the name. Just copy the uh, this whole name here, the RTG auto generated metal and go back to blueprints, go to retargeted characters, open up the AVP generic retarget, click on IK retarget our map, add a new map here in the fault value. Just click on this button to add a new map. Scroll down over here. You're going to click on your new IK retarget. So mine is this metal one right here. And we're going to paste the name over here. And we're done and now we just need to duplicate one of these characters here the best one to duplicate is this twin blast guy so just click on duplicate and we can change the name we'll let metal open it up click on twin blast the skeletal mesh we can change the name here too we don't have to but it's just good practice and then for the skeletal mesh we're gonna choose our mesh so mine is the cyberpunk mesh this one right here and then in details just type tag and change this tag name to the tag name that we copied so the metal one for me if we go to the viewport you can see that it's not changed yet but if we just click out of it and then open it up again you're gonna see it uh, it has changed so now all we need to do is just go in to the game mode and change the default pawn class to the metal guy and that's about it So yeah, anyway, so you can pretty much do this with any character. I've also done this with my Wolverine character here, and I've also done it with my Countess character uh, from Paragon. So yeah, with the Wolverine character, I had to use Aqua Rig to actually rig the character and then import that into my project. And as a bonus, because I know some people was asking to get Walken as a default state, that's pretty simple too. All we need to do is go to our sandbox character and then you'll see something saying character input state, which you can find over here in variables import character input state. You just select it and then click on this button to show all of these. And you just want to toggle wants to walk just like this just toggle that to be true and then when we press play you can see that we're walking and then when we press control we can jog press it again we'll be walking hold shift to run and that's it but yeah anyway that's about it hopefully you liked the video and i'll see you guys in the next one